2012 Infinity FX35. I'm going to be showing you how to do rear pads and rotors today on this. They're grinding. Anyways, if you haven't subscribed to my channel, please subscribe so I can continue to make videos like this to make your life easier. Got the parts. Customers waiting. Let's get started. First thing we're going to do is get this whole caliper bracket out of our way with the caliper still attached because Nissan and Infinity, which is made by Nissan, decided to put this trailing arm in the way of that bottom bolt where you can't get it out unless you drop that arm or do it the way I'm about to show you, which is much easier. Grab you a 19, something long, so you can get some good oomph on it. Ugh. Loosen both, both your top and bottom caliper bracket bolts. Let me get on the ground a little bit here, because they're tight. All right. Now I don't want to wrench them out too far with that because I'll trap myself. So I'll grab this, it's a little more low profile. Because you're not going to get a ratchet or electric, anything electric on that. Unless you set up some kind of funky, maybe a 3 8 extension in a swivel socket, even then I still think you might hit that trailing arm. Go ahead and wrench this top one out. Now I could get a socket on the top one, but I'm just gonna do it this way because I don't have one over here right now. I don't feel like walking in my box. All right, making sure you don't lose your lock washer. loose enough now to get it with my fingers kind of wiggle the caliper back and forth it'll help the bolt on grabbing all right swing this out of our way and if the rotor don't come right off okay well looks like I got another video to do That's pretty. Okay, so I got these painted and coated rotors here. No need to clean them. They don't have the Cosmoline oil on them like regular rotors do. This is for braking purposes. Oh yeah, let me go ahead and grab my brake pads over here. The hardware, which I'm gonna change the hardware because this thing's grinding. And hard hardware that is all gummed up with brake dust and crap and cause the pads to stick. Got a little flathead action. Pop that pad out of there. This just started yesterday. <laughs> Alright. See how I popped, pulled that off. Both slides still attached. Did that to change the hardware. Top and bottom are the same. So no need to note. Boom. Let's dump all this out. Because I think there's several different options they give you for different makes and models. So let's match it up with this. I think that's it. Make sure it seats good. I'm going to scrub the rotor. All right. Now, I'm going to grease these slides. Normally, if they look good, I don't. And they look like they're starting to get a little dried out. So, pardon me while I go find some 
grease here. one tub for the whole shop but my other fellow technician here might have locked it in his toolbox by accident because I don't think I have it but I got some hot temp grease right here just take you a little bit with your finger right here making sure there's no debris in it Don't overdo it because you have a hard time pushing the piston back or the caliper back over it. Just like that. Making sure your boots pop over and you know, don't leave it exposed. Now, we're gonna hang the caliper back up. Okay. Run down as much as we can, my fingers here. Squeaky like a mouse. Okay, grab my little shorty here. or something right there. I didn't do that. Maybe I'll be nice and fix it for him after this video. Oh, wrong way, dork. Do a nice little final <coughs> oomph on it. A little oomph action. <coughs> Alright, now time to change the pads. We're going to take the top bolt loose. Counterclockwise, of course. <clears throat> and I flip your caliper down, reset our piston here. don't have this tool just take a big pair of channel locks or RC clip C clamp works fine too slide your new pads in warning indicator goes on the back side swing her back up Snug her up. Check the bottom one too, even though I didn't take it loose. Because if it comes back, I'll be blamed for that. That's how you do it, y'all. Just got to pump up your brake pedal before you test drive it. Anyways, I hope y'all like this video. Hope it's been informative. Y'all please check like, subscribe. Have a good day. Peace out, YouTube.